This is the Saluki, one of the oldest hunting breeds in the world. And having been so successful, they've remained relatively unchanged for over 6,000 years. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive dog breeds. The temperament of a Samoyed is gregarious and they're very outgoing and happy. And they always have a smile on their face and that's why they call them the smiling dog, the Sammy Smile. For this list, we'll be looking at the priciest pups in the world. While these dog breeds are beautiful, their initial purchase costs are much higher than the average dog. Also, while we love all dogs, and some designer breeds are definitely expensive, we will only be looking at breeds recognized by the FCI. We want to hear about your pets. Tell us about your precious animal friends in the comments below. Number 10. Chow Chow. Uh, I've been absolutely eaten alive, haven't I, Rhiannon, yeah. since I've got here today by literally living bouncy pom-poms. Don't let that irresistible fluff and precious face fool you. This breed is meant to protect its home before anything else. Chow Chows are loyal dogs, and that loyalty can sometimes present in aggression to strangers and other dogs. This is a dog that definitely has, you know, been known to be a little bit aggressive in the past and, and a little bit standoffish with kids and with strangers. If you want one of these purple-tongued puppies, be prepared to shell out between $500 and $8,000. And that's just for the dog itself. Some insurance companies consider Chow Chows to be a high-risk breed, so owning one can make your homeowner's insurance premiums go up. Unfortunately, Chow Chows are also prone to autoimmune issues, which means vet bills can be more expensive over time. And of course, that luscious coat needs to be groomed, so be prepared to stock up on supplies or take them in for professional care on a regular basis. Look at that black tongue. Number 9. Akita. This breed is perhaps most well-known for the story of the loyal Hachiko, an Akita who waited for his owner to return to the train station for more than nine years after the man's passing. <laughs> During Hachiko's life, only 30 Akitas were registered and the breed nearly went extinct during World War II a few years later. Thankfully, revitalization efforts saved the breed. Today, the Akita breed is protected by national treasure status. Although they are not as rare today, Akitas can still be quite expensive, with puppies costing between $1,000 and $5,500. Akitas are prone to health conditions such as diabetes and bloat, which can lead to increased veterinary care costs. Akitas are banned in some areas, so before you bring one into your home, be sure to check your local laws. They are not big, cuddly, lovable dogs by nature. They're nurtured to become like that, and if you meet a nice Akita, it's only because somebody's put a lot of work into that dog. Number 8. English Bulldog They're one of the most popular sports mascots, but these wrinkly dogs are more likely to need to fight off sleepiness than fight bulls. Oh, oh. When you think of Georgia, that's the first thing that comes up is the, our bulldog. <laughs> if you want to add one of these adorable puppies to your home, be prepared to pay between $1,500 and $4,000. Over the years, English bulldogs have been bred to have more extreme features, and this has sadly led to some major health problems in the breed. Now this dog has been completely 100% man-made. They've been bred to have these really strong heads and these powerful shoulders and this tight little rear. There's nothing that looks this way naturally. Cardiac and hip issues are prevalent, and those precious squished faces can actually cause breathing problems, which can in turn lead to overheating. And because their heads are so large, English Bulldog puppies might get stuck during whelping, so most are born via C-section to limit risks for both the mom and the pup. No wonder they're so expensive. Uh, they are great companions. They're fun to be around. They're really a chill dog to own. Number seven, Rottweiler. They're a strong breed. They're uh, easy to live with at home. These powerful pups were originally bred to herd livestock and pull carts full of meat for butchers. Rottweilers are a popular breed, and if you want to add one of these muscular dogs to your home, purchasing one from a reputable breeder can cost between $1,200 and $4,000. This breed can do anything, anything you want it to do. It's a great companion, it's a great herder, it is a dog that will do guarding and protection. Once you bring your pup home, 
Make sure you take extra care to keep them protected from parvovirus, because this breed is especially susceptible to serious outcomes from the virus. As a larger breed, Rottweilers may develop health conditions such as hip dysplasia as they get older. Finally, before you add one of these dogs to your family, be sure to check your local ordinances, as Rottweilers are banned in some areas. The temperaments are solid. All they actually want is a bit of love, attention, a walk, and to feed. Number six, Pharaoh Hound. Pharaoh Hound is the oldest documented breed of domesticated dog and is actually found within tombs um, in Egypt. Also called Keltal Fennec, this stunning dog is the only breed from Malta that is recognized by the FCI. Pharaoh hounds were originally bred to hunt rabbits, but their affectionate natures make them excellent pets as well. These pups have an adorable blush that pops up when they're happy. In an account from the 19th Egyptian dynasty, it is said that her face glows like a god and she delights to do her work. If you want to purchase one of these gorgeous dogs, though, your bank account might not be tickled pink. Because of the Pharaoh Hound's rarity, you can expect to pay between $2,500 and $6,500 for a puppy. And that's before transportation costs from the breeder. Thankfully, Pharaoh Hounds are not prone to many diseases. So if you are able to find and afford one, you will likely get a healthy and happy dog. They are a really somewhat goofy and clownish breed. They are incredibly entertaining. When they get excited, they also smile and will show you all their teeth when they're excited or happy to see you. Number five, Saluki. Originally bred to hunt game, this ancient breed is among the fastest in the entire world. But to be that good at hunting in this environment requires a very particular skill. They have become masters of speed. These stunning sight hounds can reach speeds up to 42 miles per hour, and owners must use caution when walking them so they do not escape. Despite their intense prey drive and extraordinary speed, adult Salukis have gentle and shy personalities. They, they are like big cats. They, they will play for like, I don't know, half hour here and there, but for the most part, they sleep a lot during the day. Um, if you want to add one of these gorgeous dogs to your family though, it's going to cost you. Purchasing a Saluki puppy will set you back between $2,500 and $10,000, depending on the breeder. Once you get your pup home, be sure to give it lots of soft spots to lay on as they love being cozy when they're indoors. Same Saluki, same. Uh, the Salukis pretty much run the house. Uh, they, uh, if you try to get a Saluki and think that you're gonna keep that Saluki off the sofa, uh, good luck with that. Number four, Samied. They're just an all around family dog, but they are developed by the Samied people. Thus, they're called Samieds. They might resemble cartoon characters brought to life, but these walking clouds are tougher than they look. Samieds were bred to herd reindeer and pull sleds in Siberia, making them excellent working dogs. Their fluffy coats and cuddly personalities are the result of selective breeding to keep people warm during harsh winter nights. These photogenic darlings have faces and dispositions just as sweet as marshmallows. But that Sammy smile will cost you a pretty penny. You can't help but smile when you look at them. Yeah. And um, as you say, they're lovely to scrunch and munch. Scrunch and munch, I love this. <laughs> Expect to spend between $1,500 and $6,000 on one of these puppies. As you can probably guess, Sammy Ed's gorgeous coats require constant upkeep. So investing in grooming tools or regular grooming appointments is a must. They are the only breed of dogs that have wool for an undercoat. They don't have a smell when they're wet like a wet dog. They smell like a sheep. You might want to get an extra vacuum too while you're at it. Number three, Love Chun. Not many breeds can claim to be one part pet, one part aristocrat, and one part hot water bottle. But oddly enough, the Lao Chen can. These adorable dogs once made up the rarest breed in the world, with only 65 Lervchungs registered in 1973. Nowadays, the little lion dog is a bit more plentiful, but they're still uncommon. Their happy and intelligent temperaments make them excellent family dogs. And because they don't shed much, Lervchungs are a good fit for people with mild allergies. Just be prepared to give your Lao Chen a good brush at least twice a week or have it clipped short. These precious pups have noble ancestry as companion dogs, and their price tag certainly reflects it. A full mane in front and a close clip in the back. 
a cut which historically served the unusual purpose of warming the feet of elite society ladies. Because of their scarcity, larve chuns cost between $4,000 and $8,000. If you do add one of these rare gems to your family, they usually live long and healthy lives, but you will need to groom them frequently to keep their skin and fur in tip-top shape. Number 2. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog these stunning dogs are the result of breeding German shepherds with Carpathian wolves, and their attributes definitely reflect their ancestry. They felt that by introducing wolf blood into the breed, they could toughen the German shepherd up and improve their senses. Czechoslovakian wolf dogs develop strong social bonds with their families and with other dogs, reflecting the pack mentality of wolves. And the children in your family are going to be part of your pack. And these dogs will know that your children are part of the pack and they will be gentle and they will be lovely with them. This breed is relatively rare and its hefty price tag reflects that rarity. Czechoslovakian wolf dogs can cost anywhere from $800 to $8,000. And that's not even counting the price of transportation from one of the few breeders where you can buy these pups. Before you start pulling from your savings account, keep in mind that Czechoslovakian wolf dogs are banned in several areas, so check your local laws. But the one thing that I would be very, very careful is, is they're incredibly energetic dogs. They have very, very sharp claws and massive feet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff We know that the love of a dog is worth a fortune, but very few of us would actually drop millions of dollars on a pup from the get-go. They're treasured not only for their enormous size, but also for their breathtaking bark. Well, that's exactly what happened in 2014 when a property developer spent $1.95 million on a Tibetan Mastiff. While not all Tibetan Mastiffs cost that much, they top this list for a reason. A puppy will usually set you back between $1,500 and $5,000. Their beautiful coats require maintenance, so make sure you have proper tools or are able to take them in for grooming appointments. Unfortunately, this breed is prone to some health issues, such as hip dysplasia, which can lead to higher veterinary bills. They also, uh, hypothyroid is relatively common in the Tibetan Mastiff, and then occasionally they have some eye issues like entropian or ectropian. Like a few other breeds on this list, the Tibetan Mastiff is banned in some areas, so be sure to check local laws before purchasing one of these giant dogs. They're incredibly intelligent dogs, so you need to keep them occupied, keep them entertained, um, keep interesting things going on. So they're not going to be happy lying around doing nothing all day. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.